Body finds a playmate. Body Finds a Playmate by Mary Brooks and Bruce R. Carrick. One fine morning in the middle of the jungle, Spotty, the baby leopard, went out to find some other animals to play with. Mother Leopard had gone off to get some food for her family, so Spotty was all alone for the morning. He felt a little lonely. He peered through a clump of tall grass and saw a pretty pond. In the middle of the pond, sitting on some rocks, was old Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle never liked to be disturbed while he was sunning himself. "'Will you play with me?' asked Spotty. "'No, indeed I will not,' replied Mr. Turtle. "'You play too roughly for me, Spotty.' Then he disappeared among the colored rocks in the pond. Spotty jumped into a pond to find Mr. Turtle. He put his head under the water and looked and looked, but he couldn't see anything except two green minnows who swam away. When Spotty couldn't hold his breath any longer, he jumped out of the pond onto an overhanging branch. No one wants to play with me, he said, and felt very sorry for himself. He put his head between his paws and began to cry. Just then Spotty heard a sound. Who can be making such funny noises, Spotty said to himself. Jumping to the ground, he ran off in the direction of the sounds. It certainly didn't sound like a bird. Whoever it is, perhaps he will play with me, thought Spotty. Then he saw who was making the noises. Perched on a long rush stem was fat Mr. Frog, all puffed up and singing his favorite songs. Will you play with me, Mr. Frog? said Spotty. Certainly not, Spotty, replied Mr. Frog. You play too roughly for me. Then Mr. Frog jumped right into the middle of a big mud puddle. Splash! Spotty laughed and laughed at the funny sight. If Mr. Frog wants to play hide-and-seek, I'll find him soon enough, he said. Spotty jumped into the mud puddle, but Mr. Frog had disappeared. Spotty looked so strange all covered with mud that the birds came to laugh at him. Suddenly, Spotty heard a I will play with you, Spotty, said Mr. Snake, who was coiled in a tree right over Spotty's head. You don't play too roughly for me. Mr. Snake grinned hungrily and edged nearer the little leopard. Spotty had never been so frightened in his whole life. He could feel his fur stand up on end all over his body and his tail stuck straight up in the air. Something had to be done. Spotty shut his eyes and roared as loudly as he could. Roar! 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 And only stopped when he was out of breath. Mr. Snake was so scared that he wriggled away as fast as he could, telling himself that he would never go near another leopard, even a baby leopard. When he had opened his eyes and saw that Mr. Snake had gone, Spotty was very proud of his roaring. Sitting down, he began to lick all the mud from his paws. When he was clean, he looked up. He saw a family of monkeys sitting on a tree branch, staring at him. Will you play with me? Spotty shouted. Of course we will, the monkey shouted back. Try and catch us. Spotty gave a happy yelp and scampered off after his newfound friends. The monkeys swung from branch to branch, always laughing and always keeping just a little bit ahead of Spotty. This is certainly more fun than playing with old Mr. Turtle or old fat Mr. Frog, Spotty thought to himself, and certainly a lot safer than playing with Mr. Snake. Finally, Spotty grew tired with all the running and playing. Goodbye! Goodbye! called Spotty to his friends. Goodbye! Goodbye, Spotty! The monkeys called back. We'll meet again tomorrow. Spotty lay down in a shady spot under a big tree. The flowers smelled sweet, and two butterflies fluttered near him. My, my, said Spotty, stretching. What fun it is to have playmates.